Welcome to Go Market Update Charts of the Day for today, it's the 20th of December. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's have a look at the headlines. The US markets obviously continue to move higher overnight. Dow paused the record with the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 closed the same. Uh, the Nasdaq closed over 15,000 for the first time since January 2022, and the advance has been declining by more than four to one on the NYSE as a whole. That's a very bullish sign. So the buyers are most certainly in, and the fund managers are now panicking that their clients are going to be unhappy that they haven't got more exposure to a rampant market. US futures are flat in Asian trading in Asian markets, generally following that US lead with the ASX up around 0.6%. Chinese market has opened slightly softer, uh, but the rest are all to the upside at this stage. And European futures are pointing to a mildly positive open this afternoon. US dollar index was weaker overnight slightly, and Disney and neutral in Asia. The Japanese yen was very volatile after the BOJ press conference yesterday. Gold moved higher on the back of that USD weakness in its retest in 2014. Copper has moved to the top of a short term trading range around 391. A breach of that could see it up to $4, and that would be an important technical level for copper. Oil double bottom completed that we talked about yesterday, edged further upwards towards $75 on the WTI contract. Bitcoin is still eyeing 45000 but it's in a short-term range, just stuck around that 43000 On the data front, the PBOC interest rate has been released. The Eurozone and UK PPI UK CPI and US housing data are all due out later and other data points that might have the potential to move markets. A couple of charts at Corner Eye today. We are seeing some retracement in the yen. You can see that big move up yesterday on this GB pound yen on the 30 minute chart. You can see, however, we pulled back a little bit and now we're paused at this 183 level. That's important for not only is it a round number, but also technically. It's beginning to look more and more important. If we're going to close through this, we could see it down possibly around about 55 pips to this 182.45. And if we do get a breach of that, then the downside is significant. So one to keep an eye on through the course of the day, particularly with that UK data out later. I'll try out the day yesterday was Elders. And you can see it's continued its move higher. Uh, we are looking at a potential price target on this of around about 8.30. Ultimately, uh, and at this stage, it's looking very positive in terms of its movement through this key level and this long term double bottom and upwards towards that level. So there is potential there worthwhile checking in on this towards the back of the trading day and maybe even tomorrow also. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.